Happy New Year and welcome back to No Hidden Agenda TV sponsored by Caesars Entertainment. We're excited for our first episode of 2024. All new this year, you can also listen to No Hidden Agenda on podcast platforms for added convenience. Let's jump right into our first segment. PCMA convening leaders just wrapped an incredible conference for thousands of event professionals. Let's check in with Courtney Stanley for more. Sarah, PCMA is celebrating a record-breaking convening leaders here in San Diego with 5,000 people attending both in person and online, all enjoying an incredible conference. We're approximately 5,100 now. Uh, we've grown considerably. We, uh, you know, uh, just before the pandemic, our highest attendance was just over 4,500. So it's been a significant growth, but it was 70% increase in attendance year over year. It's, it's pretty remarkable. There's a bunch of reasons why it's happened. Uh, one is the type of experience that we've created here in, in, in San Diego. It's much more interactive, much more immersive, uh, conversational. Uh, some of the content, some of the speakers, like President Clinton and Secretary Clinton uh, headlining today, uh, Mayan Bilak, the opening with Mo Gada. Um, there's some incredible speakers uh, that we brought uh, to the, the, the front. San Diego has been an incredible city, uh, remarkable to work with. Um, the weather doesn't hurt. And um, of course, um, having great partners all across our industry that's partnered with us to create and curate experiences that will enhance every single participant or delegate experience while they're here. All of that, I felt, really contributed to why Convening Leaders 2024 has been so successful. First, I gotta say that I'm most proud of my team. Uh, they've worked really, really hard. They've tried very hard to make this come together and they've brought it together. So that certainly I, I am. Two is the people that volunteer to help us make this uh, come together. There is nothing that we can do without very strong volunteers. But the thing that I guess I am most proud of is what people are taking away with them, the new friendships that they've developed, the new connections that they've developed, uh, the business opportunities that they've developed, lifelong friendship and the fact that they are leaving here inspired to want to do better for themselves, their organizations, uh, to me makes me feel very rewarded. So I'm very excited about this. Uh, PCMA is just an incredible organization globally. Uh, what uh, PCMA's intentions are and what it does for whether you're a CEO of an organization, you're, uh, you're in your early 20s getting into the industry, you can attend the PCMA conference as we're here today and, 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 and engage in, in uh, learning and, and meetings and meeting new people and networking that will carry your, your future forward. PCMA is meant for everyone. Again, whether you're a CEO, you're in the C-suite, or you're uh, just starting out in your career. Caesars is a big supporter of PCMA. Caesars understands the importance of the educating, the importance of unlearning and learning. There's so much to be said about that, and, and we, we, we sit here today with those opportunities to, uh, to learn and grow. For example, AI. Uh, I was in Montreal uh, for Educon last summer uh, uh, for PCMA, and um, we learned about Project Spark. Since, since that introduction, I can't tell you the thousands of people who are benefiting from this new platform, something really never even knew existed. And uh, it's just a phenomenal tool. And that's just one example of the many uh, opportunities that exist in, in learning inside of the PCMA world. It's been exciting, it's been amazing. It's uh, most importantly, all of our customers who get to meet, existing clientele, future clientele, uh, you know, just connecting with someone over a cup of coffee and realizing the, the commonality of needs. That, that they have and how we're a great fit for, for them and they're a great fit for us, um, the, the opportunities are, are exponential. We've got a wellness activation going on in the booth today. So we've got Aura Reading happening and these really lovely detailed ladies that we are getting crazy good uh, feedback from customers and attendees on reading their auras, giving them feedback on what they need to do, whether it's freeing up space in their mind because they're an overthinker or centering themselves or walking more. I mean, I've heard so much feedback from different people on their different aura readings. 
I had a customer earlier today tell me that they saw on her aura that someone close to her just passed away and it was true. So it's been, it's been crazy. We have had a line out the door for the last two days because people are really excited about it. And I feel like people are taking their feedback seriously and trying to implement new wellness activities and practices in their life, which is really cool, that people will walk away, remember the experience, and hopefully get something long-term out of it. Someone today told me it was gonna change their life. I mean, it's been, it's been very well received. I love that it's not just talk, that we really put the time, the investment into our people, to our teams, that, I mean, I, I could go on and on about the investment that the company has put into wellness for our team members, and it's, real and it's obvious and people really appreciate it. It's not just a talking point that we talk about and so it's something that I'm really proud about. We all know content drives attendees to our meetings, but how can you capitalize on the great content that takes place on site? Here to discuss a new breakthrough software that is extending the reach of content well past your meeting is Jay Tokosh, founder and CEO of Notifact. Jay, you are no stranger to the events industry given you founded Core Apps, one of the first event mobile app companies. Tell us about this new software called Event Ace and how it works. Hi, my name is Jay Tokosh, and I am the former founder of Core Apps. You may have heard of Core Apps before. Um, been in this industry for 15 plus years. I sold Core Apps in 2019, and then started a new venture called Notifact. We started building that product for the education space, and I worked with a lot of researchers trying to understand exactly how people learned uh, with content that was being presented to them. And I took that and then revised it and built the flow so that it worked well in the event space. And we have a new product called Event Ace that we launched in July, and it's gone very well with a lot of our clients. And what it basically does is it creates value for your content by creating a new learning type of experience out there. Our goal was to make your content more valuable than what you're doing today with just presenting it to the attendees on the space. And so the idea is, is that by creating a new learning experience is that we would create FOMO, fear of them missing out on the content that you're having at your event. And that's exactly what we've begun to do. So with the flow, we're basically taking the content that you're watching up on the screen and we're now bringing that down and broadcasting it directly to the user's devices, their phone, tablet, um, laptop or whatever. And we're allowing them to interact directly with that content itself. So they can make notes, they can annotate, they can highlight directly on the live content. What we've done and what I've learned over on the education side is, is that that content that's up on the screen today and the notes that they're taking separate, and even if you're supplying that content to them later on in a PDF format, it's still called passive learning. And passive learning is the least effective way to learn. And what we wanna do is create more of a learning experience where it's interactive and it's engaging, right? Because that's the most effective way to learn. And that's how we create fear of missing out on the uh, on the event content that you have. By doing that and allowing them to make notes and annotate and highlight and do all of that, we have an AI engine in the background that is looking at participation and engagement with that content. It's understanding the learning objectives of that content. It's understanding where the people are making their notes, their annotations, their highlights. And it's bringing us back analytics for market intelligence, sales intelligence. It's telling us at a very detailed level, interest levels of that content and that learning for you to use for marketing for your next event, for marketing to your exhibitors, for sales for your exhibitors, and things of that nature. And that's really what Event Ace is all about. The fact is, is that we also built this in a way that it doesn't add a lot to your plate. There's three things I need 
introduction to the people who do the management of your sessions and pulling information from them, which is very easy to do. I give you five templates that you can send out, email language to market that you're going to be using this at the event. And the third thing is I need an introduction to who's doing the video and audio production for your stuff to get an audio feedback. And that's it. We make it very easy for you. Been in this industry for 15 plus years and I know what you go through. And I'm here to tell you that I built a product that doesn't add a lot to your plate and gives you a lot of ROI. Jay, thank you so much. And we can't wait to see how event planners put Event Ace to use within their organizations. That does it for us on this episode, but be sure to join us again on January 25th for our second episode of 2024. Remember, you can now listen to No Hidden Agenda on podcast platforms worldwide. See you next time on No Hidden Agenda TV, sponsored by Caesars Entertainment.